Boom, baby, Murad Fiki selling the very best of Houston, Texas. Now, what exactly is a short sale? I'm often asked, what is a short sale? How does this work? A short sale is when the lender, the lender who holds the note, the guy who you're paying the mortgage to, it could be Bank of America, Wells Fargo, your credit union, whoever owns the note on that property, it is when they agree to accept less than what is owed to sell the property. Why would they agree to that? Well, for a number of reasons. One being that they don't want that house back. So if this is a pre-foreclosure and it's going to go to foreclosure, quite often the lender will work with us if we approach them and we negotiate a short sale. And they will work with us because they know that quite often, more times than not, if they do get that property back through a foreclosure, they are going to take a major loss. Why are they going to take a loss? Well, they're not going to fix up the house. They're not gonna do anything to it. They're gonna sell it quite often deeply discounted to an investor or somebody who's willing to do the work and they're gonna take a loss on it anyways and most likely they'll take even bigger losses if they foreclose. Another reason is that a foreclosure, which becomes a Rio, it's a real estate owned property owned by the bank, is very bad on their balance sheet. That means they had a loan that went bad and they have to report back to their investors that they made bad loans that are not performing and now they're losing money on. Every day that it sits on their balance sheet, now they have to pay property taxes, insurance, someone to mow the, loan, mow the yard. Now there's gonna be HOA legal fees put on them because no one's mowing the yard. So it's just a bad asset for them. It's a toxic asset. So quite often you have a real estate agent who will approach them and say, look, I have a buyer. I know your borrower hasn't been making payments. If you'll work with me and agree to forgive a portion of this debt, we can get that house sold and off your balance sheet. And you quite often won't even take as much of a loss as you would have had to take if you foreclose on it. The other thing is you get to write that debt off immediately. So banks are very happy most times to work with someone on a short sale and agree to go ahead and forgive a portion of that debt. Doesn't mean they're gonna forgive all of it, but a portion to get the property moved and move on to the next deal. They know there's gonna be a certain number of loans every year that will go bad. And so to, to prevent those losses from growing and growing, they'll do a short sale. And that's how it works. So. We work on short sales. I've done multiple short sales. It is a somewhat lengthy process. Could take 60 to 180 days, sometimes longer. It just really depends on what bank we're working with and all of the situations. Another thing is we got to show the, the bank, why did this borrower fall behind on their mortgage? Could have been a divorce, death in the family, lost job, COVID-19, layoff. Could have been a number of reasons. But if we show them a, a good reason why they fell behind and that we can get a short sale and we have a buyer who's ready to take over this house and everybody moves on to the next, moves on with their life, they'll be often happy to work with us. So as always, Murad Fiki, very happy to be of service. Let me know how you're doing this week. Comment below, let me know how you're doing and any other topics you'd like me to discuss. And other than that, have a fantastic week. And we will see you soon.